Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome back to another video series of another video in the Dart and Flutter. And we are trying to master Dart first so that we can move on Flutter. And yes, before you mention that, I didn't post any video yesterday. Uh, the reason is uh, we, were, we were quite busy in our offline bootcamp, but good news is that it's over and I can focus more on videos now. So a lot of videos are going to come up. Let's move forward and we are going to talk about a couple of stuff in this video. We will not be writing code. We will talk about some of the things which we have like contradict in the past and now here in this exact same code. So we will analyze this code first. First and foremost, let's just talk about these functions. They are pretty easy. They work exactly like they work in any other language. You have to first declare what kind of data is going to throw up by this function. In this case, it's a string. So we are mentioning string. Then you have to mention the name of the function. You can feel free to choose any name, but I recommend to choose a relatively like little bit larger and explanatory words for this. For example, high score, or you want to sign up with email. So name your function entirely like uh, something like this. You just say sign up with email. That is actually a better function name instead of saying my function or your function. It's, it's kind of an advice that you should always, uh, you should take up here. Okay, command Z a couple of times. There we go. Then you have to make pair of parentheses in which you can pass on some parameters as well. We'll definitely learn that later on. And then comes the function body in these green curly braces. And it can be complex as long as like 20 lines of code, maybe uh, just two lines of code, who knows. But this is how you calculate and this is called as function body. And notice high score is automatically saying in the right hand part, bottom side, you can see that high score is a function and it just throws up a string or simply saying it returns a string value. Now notice one another strange thing here in our slides. If you remember in the previous video, I talked about that Flutter is a statically typed language. For example, whatever kind of data you are going to store, you have to tell in advance. For example, here we are telling in advance that it's going to throw up a value of type string. If it would be integer, we would have to mention that. But there is one exception here. And let me tell you this, we are going to comment this line here. And if I do something like this, for example, string and score, and then I mention this something like uh, one, two, three, it's obviously going to throw me an error. It's going to say that, hey, you are having a string type of variable and you're trying to store a number or an int into that. That's not allowed because I am, you know, statically typed language. But here, notice we are not declaring any kind of such thing. We are on this line, we are not saying, is it going to be a string? Is it going to be integer? And for example, if I convert this number into a string, like just wrapping it around with a quotes, now it is totally happy. And if I even if I run this, it's going to say, hey, your score is just one, two, three. So what is this trickery going on? On one line, you are saying it's statically typed. That means it, it needs to have the data type. And on one line, you are not even declaring it. Now here comes the point, Dart is a smart language. Yes, statically typed, but smart language. And this means that I can just comment this line and I can uncomment this line again. Now Dart is smart enough to look into your entire code and then say, hey, there's a method being defined. And since this method is automatically going to return a string value, that means if this variable score is being initialized by this function, it is very obvious that this is going to store a string value. And that's why in the right hand side bottom, you can see that it's going to store a string variable. Exactly. Now, here is a debate that comes quite a lot that what kind of language is preferred, whether the language is statically typed or dynamically typed. A lot of people are big fan of JavaScript, but I am personally a fan where I have to define each and every data type of language. It avoids all the surprises, it avoids all the confusion, as well as I'm prepared what kind of data is going to come up. So Dart is one of the language where you have to be already prepared that what kind of data is going to come up. Now, yes, it is. <laughs> now, yes, it is totally okay in this case that we don't mention this, but make sure uh, yes, we are not mentioning, but you should be aware that why we are not mentioning it and what exactly is happening. Now, in, in case instead of the var, if you just want to declare a string, that is also totally fine and your code is going to run totally fine. No problem in that. So now you have understood when we are going to use var, when we are going to use string and what is this trickery going on. It is a very, very important concept. Will be used time to time in the entire Flutter programming that we'll be doing via the using usage of Dart. So that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to talk more about these uh, things which are written just here, uh, this particular line and a lot of such other things. So let's catch up in the next video.